चैप्टर थ्री सेल विच मेम्ब्रेन रेगुलेट द एंट्री एंड एग्जिट ऑफ सेल मटीरियल द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन रेगुलेट द एंट्री एंड एग्जिट ऑफ सेल मटीरियल गिव वन सिमिलरिटीज बिटवीन एक्टिव एंड पैसिव ट्रांसपोर्ट both require a difference in concentration the two types of active transport are bulk transport and solute pumping transport which membrane regulates the entry and exit of cell materials the plasma membrane regulates the entry and exit of cell materials name the content of the nucleus nucleus consists of dna chromatin nucleolus and chromosomes the system of fluid filled canals Coiling and twisting the cytoplasm is called the endoplasmic reticulum. Is the system of fluid-filled canals coiling and twisting the cytoplasm? The three major components of the cytoplasm are the cytosol organelles and inclusions cytosol organelles and inclusions are the three major components of the cytoplasm the structural and functional unit of life is cell cell is the structural and functional unit of life give the examples of connective tissue bone cartilage blood and adipose are the examples of connective tissue bone cartilage blood and adipose are the examples of connective tissue the nucleic acid responsible for bringing the amino acids to the factory site for protein formation is the tRNA also known as transfer ribonucleic acid tRNA is responsible for bringing the amino acids to the factory site for protein formation fat soluble substances move through the bidouble layer of the plasma membrane via bulk transport the so bulk transport is a method through which fat soluble substances move through bilipid layer of the plasma membrane microvilli are apt to be found in cells that are specialized for absorption the function of microvilli are absorption they are finger like structures that helps with absorption of nutrients and other substances the molecules in the cell membrane that serve as receptors or binding sites for hormones or other chemical messengers are the proteins so proteins are the molecules in the cell membrane that serve as receptors or binding sites for hormones or other chemical messengers name the actions that osmosis involves
a definitely permeable membrane molecular motion a difference in water concentrations and a diffusion of solvent solute do not diffuse in osmosis the primary lipids found in the cell membrane are phospholipids and cholesterol the coded information that dictates the structure of a protein molecule is a gene gene has the coded information which dictates the structure of a protein molecule which of the following systems is matched most accurately to the life function it provides integumentary system provides protection to inner organs nervous system is a control system of the body muscular system main helps in maintaining posture and in generating heat nervous system is responsible for responsiveness and respiratory system provide consistent supply of oxygen and removal of carbon dioxide so here the correct answer is nervous system responsiveness if the sequence of nitrogenous bases in one strand of dna is gta GCA the sequence of bases on its complementary DNA strand would be CAT GCT as we know that cytosine is attached with guanine and adenine is attached with thymine The type of solution that is given to a patient with fluid retention is A an isotonic solution B a hypotonic solution C a hypertonic solution D 5% dextrose or E 0.18% NaCl The correct choice is C, a hypertonic solution. So, person with a fluid retention is given a hypertonic solution to remove excess fluid from the body. Glands such as the thyroid that secrete their products directly into the blood rather than through ducts are classified as endocrine so endocrine ducts are basically ductless glands they secrete their products directly into the blood dna replication a can also be called mitosis b is a spontaneous not requiring enzyme action c takes place during interphase of the cell cycle d occurs only in translationally active areas e occurs only when cells are undergoing cell division the correct choice is c dna replication takes place during the interface of the cell cycle so dna replication takes place during interface of the cell cycle two types of endocytosis are 
phagocytosis and phenocytosis so phagocytosis and phenocytosis are types of two types of endocytosis which of the following cellular structures function in detoxifying a number of harmful or poisonous substances such as alcohol and formaldehyde is it a ribosomes or b peroxisomes or c secretory vesicles or d intermediate filaments what do you think it is answer the right choice is peroxisomes yes peroxisomes are the cellular structure that function as a detoxifying agent glands such as the thyroid that secrete their products directly into the blood rather than through ducts are classified as endocrine once solid material is phagocytized and taken into a vacuole which of the following statements best describe what happens a a ribosome enters the vacuole and uses the amino acids in the invader to form a new protein a lysosome combines with the vacuole and digests the enclosed solid material the vacuole remains separated from the cytoplasm and the solid material persists unchanged or the oxygen enters the vacuole and burns the enclosed solid material the correct answer is b a lysosome combines with the vacuole and digests the enclosed solid material once it's phagocytized The site where ribosomes assemble prior to their migration into the cytoplasm is the nucleolus. So ribosomes are assembled in the nucleolus prior to their migration into the cytoplasm. The two types of passive transport are diffusion and filtration are two types of passive transport this type of transport do not require any energy so no atp is involved cholesterol is used in the cell membrane to help the make membrane more fluid so cholesterol is used in the cell membrane to help make the membrane more fluid 